Hey everyone, Chef Jason Hill here again. And have you ever wanted to make authentic Mexican shredded beef that they serve in the restaurants known as barbacoa? If so, you're in luck because that's what we're doing today. Let's get started. First, we're gonna start with a three to four pound chuck roast. This one's almost a three pound. It's been sitting at room temperature. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is just take your chef knife and remove as much as a fat and connective tissue as possible. You're not going to get all of it off, and sometimes you want to, or definitely want to leave some of it on because it does add flavor. But you don't want it to be a big fatty mess. And once you've removed most of the fat and the connective tissue, I like to cut it up into about four individual pieces, or even six. Okay, after we've cut up the chuck roast, we're going to take a pan that's medium high, add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. We're going to want to sear the beef on both sides. Just drop them in there. And then you can give it a little salt from the heavens here. Okay, while the beef is searing, we're going to go ahead and make up the sauce. So I'm just going to grab my blender and it's really easy to do. Okay, we're gonna start with a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, followed by four chipotle peppers with about a tablespoon of the adobo sauce. And that comes in the can with them. Just wanna get, make sure you get some of that sauce in there. We're gonna do two tablespoons of ground cumin. And then this one I have a teaspoon of fresh cracked pepper and a eighth teaspoon of um, ground clove. Drop that in there. Tablespoon of dried oregano. And we can't forget our garlic. What do I have here? Seven cloves? That's about right. And then either a cup of beef broth or chicken broth. And that's it. I'm going to blend it up. do it on a medium low for about 20 seconds and the aroma from this sauce is going to be very strong with that chipotle in there. I'm going to turn the steaks or the beef one more time. Get a nice sear on them. I like to use a screen to keep the grease from popping all over the place. Okay, the beef is completely seared. It's time to add it to the slow cooker. I'm just gonna set it down in there. Okay, drop in a couple of bay leaves. We're gonna pour our sauce over. This is one of my favorite things to eat. Growing up in Southern California, Mexican food is one of my favorites. Okay, we're gonna set this for a six hour high cook and we'll check it in about five hours. Okay, after five hours, we're gonna remove the lid. And we're gonna grab a couple of forks and we're just gonna go in here and pull this apart. It comes apart super easy after it's been in here for five hours. And once we shred it all up, we'll let it go for about another hour, so it'll be the total of six hours. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. The whole house has just been smelling good all day. Super tender. All right, the last hour, it's cooked down. We're gonna fish out these bay leaves. It is ready. Okay, at this point, I like to squeeze in a half a lime, that juice in there, and then taste it, see if it needs a little more salt. A little swirl, grab a tasting fork. Mmm. I'm gonna throw in just another pinch of salt. It's ready. So 
whether you're going to do enchiladas, burritos, nachos, tacos. I'm going to do burritos. All right. Personally, I like to keep my barbacoa burrito simple. I want to taste the flavors that are in the beef. So I just put a little bit of the beef down, some shredded cheddar cheese, and then I'm a sucker for sour cream when it comes to Mexican food. And we're just gonna roll this bad boy up, and bring it back towards you, fold the ends, fold it once over. But you can dress up your burritos with other ingredients. For instance, my daughter likes my cilantro lime rice in her burrito. So that's what I'm going to make for her. You can even add pinto beans, black beans. Barbacoa is so delicious. Oh my gosh. Okay, Katie, yours is ready. If you're looking for a barbacoa recipe that's on the spicy side, this is your recipe. Thanks for tubing in. Oh, wow. Mmm. So simple, so delicious. I'm gonna eat two. Mmm. <laughs> For more simple and delicious recipes, click on these links. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, if you're looking for a barbacoa...